Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new Satisfactory game. Uh, this game is currently in early access, so it's not well optimized. Uh, I will show you what to change inside of the game, and after that we will go in the config file and make sure that a couple of options are not bind to uh, on by default. So first of all, make sure that you're playing this game in a good, in the proper resolution. If after all the change you still don't get your 60, don't play 1080, go with something like 720p. So make sure that you're changing that after all the change that I will show you. Full screen, kind of important, honestly. When I'm playing full screen, I'm getting like 3 to 4 FPS increase. So uh, important to, to check the full screen option. Texture quality, I have 8 gig VRAM on my video card, so I'm playing at ultra. Honestly, if you have 4 gig and more, play ultra. If you have like 3 gig, play at high, 2 gig at medium. And if you have less than 2 gig, play at low. Shadow quality, really important. Uh, this one have a big impact on your FPS. If you go to low, you will gain 8% of uh, FPS. So really impor important. Post processing. Uh, I'm using medium, but when you uncheck the motion blur, you will see that it changed to custom. But put this one at medium and uncheck mo motion blur if you don't like this effect. Uh, I'm not a big fan of motion blur, so I'm re removing it. Anti-aliasing, I'm playing at medium. Uh, you will gain 2% of FPS for each bracket, so kind of important. But honestly, the low uh, anti-aliasing in this game uh, decreases a lot your image quality, so that's why I'm playing at medium. VFX quality, you will gain 1 to 2% of increase by um, um, little bracket, sorry guys. And uh, that's why I'm playing at medium. I'm getting like a 4% boost with VFX quality at medium. Full which quality, it's pretty much the same thing than shadow. Uh, when I say pretty much the same thing, it's more about the impact of uh, the setting. When you put it at low, you will gain 8 to 10% of increase of FPS. So really important. View distance, this one also, really important, is the distance that you will render in front of you. Honestly, it's not like a battle royale game, so don't go crazy with far or ultra. Go with medium or even near, depending on whatever computer you're using. If you have like a laptop, integrate GPU, go with near. Uh, but uh, this one have a big impact. It's like, it's crazy. It's like 6 to 7% for each bracket. So just do your testing and play with the one that you want to use. And the last one, it's fill of view. Uh, for sure, if you lower your fill of view, you will gain a couple of FPS. 90 to 60, you will gain 2 to 3 FPS. Not a big thing. But uh, yeah, depending, do you want to see more in front of you or less? So after that, make sure you press apply. So now in the config file. So to find the config file, you need to go to C drive, users, the name of your computer, app data, local, factory game, save, config, and Windows and no editor. After that, open the game user setting. So if you scroll down here, you will see all your uh, graphic parameter that you change inside of the game. Normally in some games, low equal one. So when you put zero, uh, you will remove, for example, the shadow, but in, in, th in this game, zero mean low, so you can't uh, really remove foliage or shadow in this game, okay? So the thing that you will need to check is the HDR display output, make sure it's at false, and the other one is the dynamic resolution, you want to put this one at false. After that, make sure that you save and you close the game. So that's about it for this game. So if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to, to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace, guys.